Hey guys, what's up? My name is The Cool Mike and welcome back with another episode of The Evil Within. So, in the last episode, uh, we met with the Shade or the Light Woman again and we almost uh, actually, uh, we went through, we got a gun I believe. So, hopefully we could use that. So, without further ado, uh, we just finished saving. But for some reason, it's not registering in my inventory. So that's weird. That's where we came from. Okay. Something in here. All right. Before we touch that one, I wanna explore a little bit. get there then Something's gonna appear here, I'm guessing. Okay. So we need three. Right?
Oh, great. Oh, that's creepy. Let's see what's in the other side first. Huh, a pattern. So So two, three, two, two. Okay. Oops. Two. God, I don't have a gun yet. Well, I do, but I don't know how to use it. Are they gonna break in their glass? 
This looks like it's gonna break from the water. Enter? What? Oh. Good. God, this is the part where I die. It's so quiet. I hate it. Those things are gonna break, are they? Why am I looking at the wall? How far did it went went me back?
Oh my god, no. There's no way. Oh, hello. How long? This is a safe area. There's 
nothing here. That's locked. That can't be a good sign. Something's gonna pop up in that door, isn't it? Okay. Oh no. What now? Oh, Rubik, hello. I'm dead. Yes, please. Oh. Oh god. So it only works once. Oh, hello. Oh. 
Oh god. That was hell. Let there be a save point, at least. Today was something truly surprising. He was one of the last groups of test subjects. Just another patient I expected to babble and maybe even die. Patient 105, Leslie Withers. Reuben had singled him out as a useless subject, but he must have known. He knew I would read his notes. What else was Reuben lying to me about? But this Leslie, he emerged cognizant, calm, and able to report fully what he had experienced inside. His unique pathology allowed him to successfully navigate his STEM experience with little repercussion. They know nothing of his existence, but no doubt he is the key. If we all share the consciousness, then with him, I too should be able to experience the STEM. Potentially even suppress the more unsavory aspects of it. With him, I can be the master of the very technology I helped create. Mobius will see my worth and let me rise even higher in their ranks. Okay. Joseph, you're all right. You too, thank God. Any sign of Sebastian? Nothing. Maybe we can go back and look for him. No. I mean, let's just get out of here first, then we can worry about Sebastian. Can we open this gate? I doubt you and I are strong enough. <laughs> Joseph, watch yourself. I'll be fine. Quick, look around, see if there's another way out. We probably don't have much time. Look around for some way out of here. Oh, a save area. Perfect. Okay, I'm about to end this, but first... Sorry kitty, gotta go. Is that... 
that's a, that looks like a dead rat or a bird. I wonder what happens if I go that if I go the other way. Wait. Oh great, I missed it. No. I can't go back. What the hell? This has to be the top. Focus the efforts of the other programs to support our research. STEM priority has seemingly overridden other departments' individual research. Chemical and botanical studies are focused now on temporary, priming subjects for their inevitable connection. Now that the prototype is up and running, experiments continue. Upon their return from STEM integration, patients are interviewed extensively. While their particular pathologies inform their experiences, there are commonalities. They all experience the same settings, the same occurrences. The world they inhabit becomes larger with every new visitor. This suggests that shards of each user's consciousness are left behind inside the stem, creating a community. It's as if internally a new world is being built. Okay. You're losing focus, kid. I warned you about that. How could this place exist? I don't understand. What's happening in here? Ruvik knows you're here. He's feeding off you. But there are more important problems. That detective. Joseph isn't something to worry about. He doesn't suspect anything. He's expendable. How else do you want me to say it? Remove him. That's an order. What are you doing? Killing Joseph? That's not going to help me find Leslie. He can't be trusted. He'll turn on you. They all will, once they know what you're after. We told you. Oh, you're God. weak, kid. And you're disappointing us. Are you guys all right? We're all right. Sebastian. Maybe we can lift this enough for Kidman to go under, and open it from the other side. We're counting on you. <sighs> it 
That's odd, though. Why would they catch you instead of just killing you? Maybe he didn't see me as a threat. He? I know who you are. I'm not going to let you take him. You should have followed your orders, kid. Oh, God. gone far. sins you are ashamed of. Oh my god, that took a while. So I had to kill I had to hit him three times but I had to cut it out because Wait a second. This house. No, it can't be. So I had to cut the video to make it shorter. I'm really sorry if you couldn't see the entire battle. It was just me stuck and killed the living crap out of that dude. I need a save point so I could end this episode. I'm so tired. Mother would sit in her chair, rocking back and forth, killing time until the next service. She barely spent any time with us. I wondered why she even had children at all. Miss Kidman, please tell me about your family. Next subject. No. We've prolonged this talk for a while now. It's important for our understanding of you. They never gave a shit. Too caught up in that church of theirs. More like a cult. It was like a punishment. Nothing I ever did was good enough for them. They abused you? No. It was more like neglect. That's why when I just left, they didn't care. They never came looking, they just gave up. And you never went back to them? I did. A couple of years later, they were gone. Everyone was gone. It was like the whole town got up and moved. I should have felt something, but I didn't. And how do you feel about it now? The same. They can rot for all I care. It was strange, though. There's a statue in the center of town, an angel with its head in its hands. I used to just stare at it when I was young, thinking it was sad. But now, I felt like even that statue knew how pitiful life was there. What a terrible place. Okay. So we're... We're digging into Kidman's past. Oh my god, that level was so hard. I hate it. I hate it so much. I had to cut it out.
Oh, this is the church. Is there a save point, please? Leslie! Leslie, stop! At night, I would stare up at the statue lit up in the center of town. It looked like it was crying for all the wasted life in that place. Item acquired, so that's the secret. Uh, I did not know that was the secret. I hated the zombie Joseph. I killed Joseph. That's the reason why he did not come back. point thank god it's about damn time okay let's just save Alright, I'm gonna edit here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode uh, of what you call Devil Within the Assignment. I This episode has been very long, but I managed to cut it and beat, or should I say kill Joseph. That level was so hard. I was losing hope. I did not know what to do. He was, it was just pure luck that I managed to beat him. 
But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe now if you haven't. And as always, I will see you guys next time with another brand new video. This is the Cool Mike signing off. Goodbye.